Hey guys, it's your boy Malik on Fleet 3.0 back at it again with another damn on G review video. And I'm, you know, I'm so happy that I missed 6 7, episode 6 and 7, because I don't think it will be the same impact as watching all three episodes 6, 7, and 8, the new episode number 8 today. Like, yo, I felt all of it, all the emotions today. Like, you know, I wasn't prepared. Like, I didn't know the fight scenes were going to be good like this. I wasn't ready for this conflict, bro. I wasn't ready for Wing's transformation. Um, Dix's backstory, bro. I was not ready for this. Bell looking like he's the enemy of humanity. Like, yo, I'm, everything was just hitting. Like, they were hitting me with everything. This, these three episodes, like, I was so surprised. Like, I know y'all watched this before I did, but, like, Lord have mercy, was this good. First of all, the Zenos, you know, episode five, episode six, sorry. Zenos, they're attacking all the poachers, trying to find dicks. Bell's trying to find the Zenos to help him out. Lid, you know, from the Zenos, he, he got mad at Bell. Like, he's like, yo, I want to help you, but yo, um, you're human too. And I guess it's not going to work out. Like, yo, I'm just, I'm like, I'm just baffled. Like, I just, I'm sorry that I'm not more, um, I don't have any notes for these three episodes. Like, I just had to get on here, hit you with this new video, but like, I just, <laughs> oh my God, this, oh, this was just too good. Like, these three episodes were just too good for me. Like, oh my god. Like, just everything. Like, Dick's calling Bella a hypocrite, a fool. Ween's death? Bro, I wasn't ready for- I didn't know Ween was going to die. But, you know, it kind of felt like- I, I felt sad that she died, but she came right back to life, like, uh, literally five seconds later. But, you know, kind of ruined the emotions, but- Hey, I'm happy that she's alive because I was so surprised when what's his name, the guy, um, one of Dix's colleagues, came with that spear. I knew when he was coming, like he was so angry that his eye was ripped out. He's like, "Yo, I need to kill these monsters and all that." Like I knew he was going to do something. I'm like, "Yo, I, I have a feeling that he's going to come out of nowhere and do something." But I didn't know he was going to come out to Wiener. Eh? Like I was not, I was not ready for that. I was not ready for that because all I see is like that. Bell is trying to save Ween. Like, he got in front of the Loki Familia and was like, yo, chill. Like, yo, this is my cat. So he's trying to cover, like, hey, I'm supposed to kill this monster even though I'm trying to save Ween. And then all these adventurers just coming out of nowhere trying to kill Ween. And Bell is trying to save her. And then they caught her in this, um, Coliseum. And, um, just exp hit her with all magic attacks. And then that dude with the spear just came out of nowhere and threw it straight at her chest. I'm like, oh my god, I was not ready for this. I was not ready. And then can we talk about the God of Thunder Minotaur? Oof. Can we talk about that guy? Yo, he came out of nowhere. He was bodying everybody. He was bodying every adventurer that came his way. He didn't even take a single damage until he met uh, um, Eyes. Are you kidding me? This man was undefeated, unstoppable, dropping LeBron James numbers, triple doubles every night. Like, my God. This man was just destroying everybody. And who else felt so bad for Bell? Like, at, I, like this is the problem with being a hero. I made, Remember, I made a whole video about what's so good about being a hero. Yo, right now, like, he's trying to save everybody. Like, whoever comes his way for help, that's who he wants to save. That's what he said in episode 8. And, yo, this might have made him an enemy of humanity. Because, remember, at the end of episode 8, um, one of the guild people, oh, I forgot her name. But, you know, the one that's always at the desk, yo, she came up to him like, yo, everybody's telling me that you did something so bad. Like, you chose... You hurt, you put everybody's on life in nature for your own selfish needs. And he's a yes, he got mad. And sad, like, she couldn't believe that that's something he would do. Yo, it's just... Oh, I'm so ready for episode 9, like, oh my god, that was... It. Bruh. Like, this, these three episodes were just too good. 
like i just uh, bro it, i'm I, don't, I didn't even know who to side with you know the adventure is like yeah they have a reason because they came, the monsters came to the surface and causing danger for everybody but the monsters have a good reason because they wouldn't even be coming up to the surface if dicks didn't uh kill their kin like um, there's so many good reasons for everybody to be fighting right now like so many good reasons and high key when um bell got in front of ween when loki familia came down bro Heike thought eyes and him was going to fight because you see that in the title right i mean from the op like you see them um your sword in front of his face so i assumed that they were going to fight and that's why i thought and i was like he hyping it up because i was like oh i'm telling you they're about to fight and it's about to be like clean but yo i'm not gonna lie when i saw eyes fight that millionaire bro i totally forgot how op eyes was bro because you remember um she hasn't been doing much in season three so i was like you know i for i kind of forgot how strong she was and then she came up start bodying the minotaur i mean the minotaur got like a hit in but yo straight bodying him like eyes bruh <laughs> waifu but i'm just saying like he's way too good lily trying to stop um wolf, um yeah wolf from trying to help bell because if he goes out there and helps bell it's going to be worse for the hestia fam familia like everything like everything that could go wrong is going wrong in this episode on these three episodes like everybody you're trying to save weenie we need eyes you're trying to protect everybody but everybody does everybody is trying to fight each other the monsters and the humans alike like what what can you really do in a situation like this but it was interesting when Dix was surprised that Wiene was able to tell who who Belle was again when she went to her monstrous transformation. And he was surprised, he's like, yo, what? Like what? How is she how is she able to do that? But you know, he was still mad and crazy and stuff. And it did take me off guard that Dix died so early. So who's what's gonna happen in the later episodes then? Because Dix was basically the main baddie in this season three like he's the one who set all this he set all this up so wh what's going to is the next excuse me is the next four episodes going to be about like how everybody how Bo is trying to no I, I don't i don't i don't really know how it's going to work like i know for a fact that everybody is going to see bell the little rookie as differently now like not as the the hero that everybody thought he was but as a a hypocrite a traitor and all that stuff like i can see that because of his actions like everybody's gonna lose trust in him i know that for a fact unless they hit me with a curveball the next episode but other than that um i don't i don't i don't know what they're going to do in the next four episodes like how is this season going to end is it is it going to end happily or is it going to be like a big setup for season four with a big baddie and stuff like that like I, I honestly don't know but i hope you guys love this video hope you like and subscribe and get ready for the next damn watching video leak on fleek 3.0 out